Good day, students, and welcome to part one of the Compass Practice Test for Numerical Skills of Pre-Algebra. Um, these are some sample test questions I'm going to go over to help you get uh, ready for your Compass test. I hope uh, this helps, and I hope you do well on your on your examination, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number one. Uh, we're working on the numerical skills component. What is the value of 54 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 6? This is assessing our mastery of the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, we can group multiplication and division in addition and subtraction. So all this means is you do parentheses, the power first, I mean parentheses first, exponents. Multiply and divide, or uh, you can do together from left to right, whichever comes first. Uh, and then addition and subtraction, they're in the same group. You can do from left to right, whichever one comes first, okay? So first, second, these two, third, and then these three, last, so fourth, all right? So let's do that here. Uh, if you look at this, let me rewrite the expression. We have 54 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 6. So division is the highest one here, so we have to divide first. So we're going to divide 6 and 2. So 6 divided by 2 is um, actually negative 6 divided by positive 2 is negative 3. We, all, we always have to keep the sign plus 6, okay? Addition and subtraction are in the same category, but going from left to right, whichever comes first, we, we, we work on first, okay? So since minus comes first, going from left to right, we're going to do the subtracting here first. So 54 minus 3 is 51, plus 6, 51 plus 6 equals 57. So your answer to option 1 is E, okay? All right, moving along to number 2, it says the lowest temperature on a winter morning was negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Later the same day, the temperature reached a high of 24 degrees Fahrenheit. By how many degrees did the temperature increase? So there are two ways we can do this. We can just give ourselves use a visual approach for this uh, to, to solve this problem. So we have zero degrees. It was negative eight below first. And then this was the low. And then the high uh, later was 24. So how many degrees is it going to take to go from negative 8 under all the way up to 24? We know going down the distance from here to here is 8 degrees. And then starting from 0, the distance from 0 all the way to the top is 24 degrees. So if you want to look for the, the net increase in temperature, the complete increase in temperature, we just simply add these two. Because first of all, you have to get to 0, and then you do 24 degrees up. So you just go 24 plus 8. We add them up we get 32 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Another way to do it is we can just do the high, the high minus the low, all right? That will give us the answer. So the high is 24 degrees, and then we subtract it from the low, which is negative 8. Remember, anytime you multiply, find signs minus times minus is a plus, right? So 24 plus 8. It was 24 plus 8, 32 degrees. All right, so your answer is E. Okay, moving along to question three. It says if three fourths minus two thirds plus one half plus one third is calculated and the answer reduced to simplest terms, what is the denominator of the resultant fraction? So let's do this. So we have three over four minus two over three plus one over two plus one third. All right. So we're going to resolve, remember all of operations, we're going to do the fractions in the parentheses first, and then we're going to combine the resultant fractions, okay? So let's do the left side first. What is the LCD of um, 4 and 3? What is the LCD of 4 and 3? LCD of 4 and 3 is 12, right? Now the smallest number that they both can go into. So um, we need to make these two denominators 12. So to do that, we're going to multiply on the left, uh, multiply the denominator by 3, because 4 times 3 is 12, the target LCD. Whatever I multiply by the denominator, multiply by the top. And in this one, I need this to be 12, so I multiply by 4, top and bottom. Okay? So that changes that fraction into uh, 9 over 12. We multiply across 3 times 3, 9. 4 times 3, 12. Minus 8 over 12. Okay? Plus. Now let's take a look at this side right here. Now, what is the LCD of um, 2 and 3? The LCD of 2 and 3, they're both co-prime, is 6. Okay? So I need to make these two denominators 6. 
So complete that for the left fraction. Multiply this by 3 to make it 6 in the denominator. And in the numerator, the same thing, so you don't change the problem. This, I need this to become 6 multiplied by 2, top and bottom. So now we're going to have uh, 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6. Okay? All right, now let's do the fractions one by one, and then we're going to combine the resulting fraction. Okay, so 9 minus 8 is simply 1 over 12, plus 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. Okay? Now, to resolve these two fractions, we need to find the LCD so that we can make the denominators identical, and then we can add the two fractions. So what is the LCD of 12 and 6? The LCD of 12 and 6 is 12. We know 6 goes into 12. So this is already the LCD, so we don't need to bother with it. This one we need to make it in a 12, so we times it by 2, top and bottom, because 6 times 2 is 12. Alright, so this becomes 1 over 12, plus 10 over 12. Alright, and then your final answer is 11 over 12. The question asks, what is the denominator of your resulting fraction? So the denominator is all we care about. The denominator is 12, so that's your answer. Alright, so our answer is B. Okay. Let's move along to question number four. Uh, for question four, we're asked we're going to be evaluating this. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, we have one half plus two thirds divided by three fourths minus four fifths times five over six. Now this is an order of operations problem again. We're going to do the parentheses first, then we'll do the addition and subtraction later, okay? So just leave the one, 1 over 2 alone, 1, one half plus. Now 2 thirds, anytime you're dividing two fractions, you just drop, change, flip. You multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second. So you just bring down the 2 thirds, change the division to a times, and then you flip this to 4 over 3, okay? Minus, and in this one, it's already a multiplication, all right? So what we just do is we just multiply across. So 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30, all right? Okay, let's focus on this. This needs further simplification. So just bring that 1 half plus, if you multiply this, 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 20 over 30. You can divide both sides by 10, right? If you divide by 10, the zeros go away. So you have 2 over 3. All right, now we have three fractions. I can drop the parentheses since there are no operations to be done within the parentheses. So 1 half plus 8 over 9 minus 2 over 3. Okay. Now, what is the LCD of the denominators? What is the LCD of 2, 9, and 3? The LCD of 2, 9, and 3 is uh, 18. So the LCD of these three numbers is 18. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to... Um, Try and make all the denominators 18, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. In order to make 2 18, I need to multiply by 9. In order to make 9 18, I need to multiply by 2. In order to make 3 18, I need to multiply by 6, okay? So when I multiply all these values together, I'm going to have 9 over 18 plus 16 over 18 minus 12 over 18, okay? All right. Now that the denominator is identical, I can combine them into 1, and I'm just going to compute 9 plus 16 minus 12, okay? So, using order of operations here, just do addition, subtraction, whichever shows first from left to right, you execute that first, okay? So, starting from the left, plus comes first, so 9 plus 16 is 25 minus 12 over 18, and then 25 minus 12 is 13, uh, over 18. So that goes your final answer. The final answer is C. Alright, for number 4. Alright, let's move on to question number 5. Uh, it says, Mr. Brown went grocery shopping to buy meat for his animal office picnic. He bought 7 3 quarter pounds of hamburger for seven eighty-five. I mean, he bought 7 3 quarter pounds of hamburger and then 17.85 pounds of chicken and 6.5 pounds of steak. How many pounds of meat did Mr. Brown buy? Okay, so we're just going to add all the fractions together, um, and then that will give us our answer. So we're going to add 7 3 quarter plus 17.85 and 6 and a, oh, six and a half. Okay, and then 6 and a half. 
All right, so let's go ahead and add all this. Wait a minute. We have decimals and fractions here. What on earth? Um, it's kind of complicated to execute the addition because they're all, all over the place. Different kinds of um, representations here. If you look at our alternatives, they're all in decimals, okay? So that's a hint to me that I need to convert everything to decimal, all right? So three fourths as a decimal is like three quarters. So three quarters, if you add three quarters together, you get 75 cents. So this seven three quarters is like 7.75. This is already in decimal form, so we leave it alone, 17.85. And then six and a half and half of a dollar is 50 cents, so that's just 6.5. All right, now that they're all in decimal form, we can now execute our addition, okay? So five plus five is 10, zero carry one. Eight plus eight is 16, plus five is 21. One carry two. And then seven plus seven is 14, plus two is 16, plus six. That's 22, 2, carry 2, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. So you have 32.1 counts, okay? So the answer to number 5 is A. All right, let's move on to question number um, 6. It says, four students about four students about to purchase concert tickets for 1850 for each ticket discover that they may purchase, purchase a block of 55 tickets for $80. How much would each of the four save if they can get a fifth person to join them and the five people equally divide the price of the five ticket block? So how do we do this? Hmm. Now let's see. Uh, uh, so what is the original cost for each? Original cost for each for each uh, student. Original cost for each student is eighteen dollars and fifteen cents, and fifty cents. So with this new uh, option, how much will each student pay? Total cost, total cost for all five um, is eighty dollars. Okay, for five students, it's eighty dollars. So um, the new cost for each, new new cost. For each is going to be what using this eighty dollar total cost price. So new cost for each is simply going to be the total, which is eighty divided by the, the, a, num a number of people that are going to get the tickets. So eighty dollars divided by five. If you divide that out, five goes into eight one time, and then five goes into uh, thirty six times. Okay, so it's going to be $16. Each person is going to be paying $16 here, okay? The way I divided it here, you can use your long division or your calculator. You know, calculators are approved for this. So 5 goes into 8, 1, 1 times 5, 5, and then you have 30, and then you have 6, okay? So this is a new cost. This is the original cost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the difference between the original cost and the new cost, and that's the savings that um, each each of the five will, 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 make, will have, okay? So we're going to go 18.5, $18.50 minus $16. And you subtract it, 0, 5, 8 minus 6, 2, 1 minus 1, 0. So it's $2.50. Your answer is B. Okay? So for number 6, your answer is B. Each person will save $2.50. All right. Okay, let's move on to question number seven. It says in scientific notation, what is 20,000 plus 3.4 million? Uh, let's do it. We're going to add them first and then we're going to convert a result to scientific notation, okay? So let's put the bigger number on top, 3.4 million. And we're going to add 20,000 to that, okay? So if we execute that uh, summation, what, what, what are we going to get? We're going to have um, 3,420,000, okay? All right, how do we write this in uh, scientific notation? Now, scientific notation requires that there be only one digit to the left of the decimal, okay? So we're going to start from here, and we're going to move the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six. We moved it six units to the right so that it's just one digit here. When I move the decimal point to the front, six units is as though I'm dividing this number 
by um, by a hundred thousand. Okay, and then to by a million. So in order to compensate for that division, I need to multiply by something. So what do I multiply by? Now you're gonna note that this is the front of the number right here. This is the front, and this is the back. If you're moving to the front, it's gonna be po positive, and if you're going to move into the back, it's gonna be negative. So since we're moving to the front six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is equivalent to dividing by a million. In order to compensate for this, we're going to multiply this number by 10 to the positive 6. Okay? 10 to the positive 6, all right? So to write this in scientific notation, it's going to be 3.42. You get this from that by dividing this number by uh, a million, and then to compensate for that division, you have to multiply by 10 to the 6. Okay, 10 to the 6 to compensate for that. Remember, anytime you're moving a decimal point to the front, the power is going to be positive. Had it been you were moving it to the back to accomplish a digit to the left of the decimal, this power will be negative, okay? So your answer to this is 3.42 times 10 to the positive 6. Answer is A. All right, um, thank you so much for watching this presentation. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my videos if you like this for future updates. And do share with your friends the contents of this video and other things. Uh, you can also feel free to make requests. More videos you can find at madgoodserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.